The girl was washing her face. She rubbed her chin. She walks to the mirror. She sees that her chin and beak have turned into the shape of a chicken. She clucked and pecked at the table. Her feet turned into chicken claws. She ran out and turned into a chicken in front of her best friend. She is the supreme witch who turns children into animals. Today, the supreme witch is going to make an important announcement. The witches will set up store on the streets. The supreme witch has developed a new formula. Formula 86. Just one drop will turn children into mice. Just then, the supreme witch smelled the children. She approached the stage. She used her nose to find the source of the odor. She raised the stage. Gatsby was gone. And that's when, Bruno knocked on the door. The temptation of chocolate. Bruno walked slowly forward. And the next moment, Bruno begins to tremble. Bruno disappears. A mouse comes out of his sleeve. The sorceress supreme orders Bruno to be crushed. Bruno frantically flees the witches. Moment of crisis. Daisy speaks. She runs to Bruno. She grabs Bruno by the tail and runs into the vent. The supreme witch is right behind her. They grabbed Gatsby, who was hiding in the vent. The witches held Gatsby down and put three drops of rat poison in his ear. There was a violent shaking. Gatsby turned into a small brown mouse. Gatsby ran toward the vent, but the supreme witch caught him by the tail. The witch took a sledgehammer, ready to smash Gatsby to death. Daisy rushed out again. In the nick of time, Daisy bit the witch's finger. The witch resisted the stinging pain and let go of her claws. The three mice made a mad dash for the vent. The witch's hand grew longer and longer, just when the mice had no way to escape. Suddenly, the floor of the vent broke. The three rats fell down the passage. After escaping, Daisy told them that she was once a little girl, turned into a mouse by a witch. They decide to go to Gatsby's grandmother. They go through the kitchen. They hitch a ride with Miss Bug. They came to the door of Gatsby's grandmother's house. They rang the doorbell. They bumped into the cleaning lady. The cleaning lady chased them with a broom. Luckily, Grandma opened the door. Several mice ran wildly into the room. Grandma was startled. Gatsby came out and explained to Grandma when she found out what had happened. Grandma was very upset. Gatsby had the idea of becoming human again. While the supreme witch was away, Gatsby got a bottle of the witch's potion. The witch came back. Gatsby was so scared that he hid under the table. When the witch wasn't looking, Gatsby took the potion and quickly ran to the knitting bag. But just then, the witch grabbed the other end of the knitting bag. The witch seemed to recognize Grandma. She had seen the witch supreme as a child. There was a knock on the door of the witch's room. The witch had to let go of the knitting bag. Gatsby got the witch's potion. Grandma took out her secret recipe. She added the witch's potion to make an antidote. But in the end, the antidote failed. Grandma was disappointed. But Gatsby was optimistic. Gatsby had an idea. He wanted to turn the witch into a mouse. He poured the potion into the witch's soup. The witches came to the dining room. The witches drank the soup. The witch began to tremble. She turned into a big rat. Then all the witches turned into rats. The restaurant was a mess. They went to the room of the king of witches. When they were ready for action, the supreme witch came back. The supreme witch didn't have any soup. She put her hand on grandma. Just as the witch's claws came near grandma, Bruno and Daisy pushed the mouse trap open and caught the witch by the toe. The supreme witch screamed in agony. Gatsby stepped on a springboard and flew into the sky and threw the potion into the witch's mouth. The supreme witch turned into a horrible rat with a mouth full of fangs. The sorceress supreme frantically ran towards the rat. Rat. But just as she was about to catch the rat, a glass covered her in it. Grandma released the cat that was imprisoned by the Sorceress Supreme. The witch was destroyed. Grandma returned home with her three little mice and lived happily ever after.